professional record of 19 and 0 with 18 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, the of your screen and Kirk McCoy the first punch of the fight it is scheduled for 12. Curry weighed in at 146 turns at 145. He stands 6-1. Curry is 5-9. The referee is Arthur McCanty from New York. The judges are Ken Offit and Rosemary Grable from the state of Michigan where the commissioner is former middleweight Chuck Davies. Throwing bombs, anything can happen. Keep your eye on this first round. It's a big key round in the fight. The 10 point must system in effect. Loser of a round gets nine points or less. It can be a 5 5 even round. Eight ounce gloves and 18 foot ring. Mandatory eight count in effect. Counting for knockdowns continues after the bell, except the final round of the three knockdown rule is in effect. Curry on the attack. Two big punchers. Turn 19 0 with 18 knockouts. Bruce Curry, 20 and 4, with 11 knockouts to his credit. Hearn scoring with that left jab. That is a very dangerous punch because of all that reach he has. He is a bomber. Only one man has gone the distance with him, Alfonso Heyman. He scores with a left jab again. That has to be Curry's fight. He has to get inside that jab and start countering with left hooks. And he's got a big one. There it is. Bruce Curry fought a war with Monroe Brooks. Some boxing observers think that maybe that took a lot out of him. What do you think, Dick? Bye, Gil. Well, he's had some good fights since then, Tim. I think he's all right. Dick Stockton on my mind down there in San Juan, where tomorrow CBS's coverage of the Pan Am Games begins with the opening ceremony. Good right hand from Hearn, scoring, but straightened up Curry. A minute remaining, round one. Curry staggered with a left hook and a right. Curry has that right hand protecting his chin now. It's a very unorthodox stance. It looks like Ken Norton. He's taking two good shots right at that area where he has the glove protecting himself. Hearn stalking, flat-footed now. Thomas Hearns' his third national network appearance here on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Curry's in a bit of trouble. His knees wobbled after that one, too. We've seen Hearns take two men out, Clyde Gray and Segundo Murillo, en route to his 19 victories without a loss. Final seconds of round one. Round two on the right of your screen is Bruce Curry from Los Angeles. In the white trunks, Thomas Hearns from Detroit. Former National AAU and Golden Gloves champion, currently ranked number four in the world in the welterweight division by both the WBA and the WBC. Curry ranked number 15 in the world by the WBC and is currently the super lightweight champion at 140 pounds of the North American Boxing Federation. He's a good one. What a decision, his last time out against Clinton McKenzie in Las Vegas. He, is, he isn't going to win any decision tonight, Tim. The only way he can win this fight is by a knockout. I can tell you that right now in the second round. Hearns, Hearns is a little too big. He's got that good left hand. The last fight for Thomas Hearns was in May in Las Vegas. Technical knockout over Harold Weston in round number six. He's had six fights in his last six months. By Emmanuel Stewart and also trained by Stewart. Curry handled by Jesse Reed. Second round action from the Olympia in Detroit. About 12,000 on hand here, and they are almost to a person. Thomas Hearns fans. Tim Ryan with Bill Clancy ringside. Curry is the shorter man, and I think his strategy should be to even make himself shorter. He's got to bend, get underneath those punches of hands. He stands a little too straight, and he doesn't move his head enough. 
Halfway through round two, Curry stands at 5-9, Hearns at 6-1. A big advantage over most of the welterweights in the division. All of them, in fact. And Hearns a little showboating there as Curry grazed him with the right hand. Hearns indicating to his fans he wasn't hurt by it. Well, he better not showboat too much with Curry because Curry can get you out of there with one punch. He can punch that hard. He better just concentrate on what he's doing and do his job. Curry with victories over Rafael Rodriguez, Rudy Barrow, Monroe Brooks, Wade Hennett, some pretty tough guys. There's that good jab of Kern. So poised, just 20 years of age. Just threw a good hook off the jab, too. That's the classic move. Bruce Curry, 23, born in Texas, lives in Los Angeles. Kern's Detroit, born and bred. Seconds remaining, round two, scheduled for 12 rounds. Another jab scoring from her. A warning from Arthur Mercanti. Hometown folks didn't like that, but it was a right move on McCanty's part. You can't push a fighter around. Final seconds, round two. Round number three from Olympia Stadium in Detroit. Here on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Thomas Hearns on the right of your screen in white. Bruce Curry in the purple velvet trunks on the left. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy ringside. Remember tomorrow, Pan Am Games coverage begins here on CBS. Gil and I will be down there to cover the boxing events for you. Between valves, Jesse Reed, Curry's manager, told him to get inside and work the body. That's good advice, but how do you get in there with this big, long left hand of Hearns? Round number three. coming in and Hearns appears to be bleeding slightly by the left eye up high on the left corner of the eye it may have come when they bumped head take a closer look at that as he comes around there is blood now at the corner of the left eye of Thomas Hearns yeah, Hearns has a cut over the left eye and it could prove to be dangerous if this fight goes much further halfway through round number three right hand from Hearns. Curry ducked away just reducing the full impact but he took the shot nonetheless. Right hand grazing Curry and then he misses with his counter punches. Tim with the style that Curry has you got to faint that jab and hook and cross and that's just what Hearns did. Good right hand staggered Curry. Hearns on the attack in round two. He's got Curry in trouble. sent Curry to the canvas. He was partially off balance when he fell, Gil. You know, that's one of the few times I've seen a punch, a fighter punching while he was falling. Curry was still trying to fight while he was falling down. There's Hurt. a kid with heart. Hearns missed with a big right hand there that could have finished him. Curry staggering again, takes a short right. That right hand there goes crazy. The it's, it's, over. He goes. it's over. He hit him with some right hand. A knockout victory here for Thomas Hearns in round number three. Curry trying to get up. He's not going to make it. Arthur Mercetti.